We've got a, a, a nice little circle going on here at uh, Carleton University. We've been spending our morning with the Ottawa Therapy Dog groups, and we've got uh, a new introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to introduce Carol Eldridge, Ottawa Therapy Dog Handler. What have you named your dog? His name is Pandaroo. And what you can't see is that we are sitting on a blanket here, which is a picture of a panda. Okay, and why did you pick the name Pandaroo? Well, because he's a rescue. Mm -hmm. And his name was Rufus, and I couldn't call him Rufus because I'd had a Rufus. So there was a comet that he runs like a bear. My vet said he looks like a panda. <laughs> so he became Panda Roo. That's fair. And uh, how old is Panda Roo? Panda Roo's now six and a half. Mm -hmm. He was a year and a half old when I got him. Um, came with heartworm. Uh, got healthy. Spent a year getting healthy. Mm -hmm. And you, always, you have to have a dog for a year when they're a rescue before you can apply. Mm -hmm. And he then became an Ottawa therapy dog. And where are your two placements? Well, number one is at the Royal Ottawa, the Lock Geriatric Unit, mm -hmm. where we go once every two weeks. And the second placement is at Lady Evelyn Alternative School, okay. which and is the Reed program. Okay, so what is the Reed program? Okay, the Reed program mm -hmm. is, he is a reading education assistance dog. The standard program is that kids with, lead, with reading challenges come in mm -hmm. and read to the dog. Because if you look at this, he's pretty non-judgmental. <laughs> and if you, if the camera looks at his teeth, can you get his teeth picture? <laughs> Just so you get to see how beautiful his mouth is. <laughs> he's got a good looking mouth, you See, think? he's got that mouth. So when you look at him, you just kind of start laughing. And he's pretty non-judgmental. Um, in my case, what I'm doing is working with kids with some additional challenges, either autism or many diagnoses. Mm -hmm. So yes, they're reading to him, but it's also to give them a connection and the kids have all told me that when they feel him mm -hmm. like this are you feeling calm <laughs> the kids yeah. have said that when they touch him, they feel calm yeah and when you do that program you want to know why we're advertising nature's miracle because for the read program one of the concerns parents would sometimes have is oh dander allergies so this is a dander remover okay and a an deodorizer and so that will go on him this afternoon so he, that goes on to him before he enters the classroom? Yeah. Okay. It's not a classroom, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, it's individuals. Yeah. Hmm. So now the READ program is just one of many placements that are offered through Ottawa Therapy Dogs. We've talked about how some of the dogs uh, visit different hospitals around the city and some of them are in seniors' home. Now today, there is a reason why you're here. we're here at uh, Carleton University. Uh, the, the engineering group has coordinated to have the therapy dogs come in and spend one hour over a couple of days to, uh, you know, to offer the students who are going through their exams uh, a bit of, a, of an outlet. What's your name? Juan Colicchio. Okay, and uh, what are you in your first year? Second year, Second at engineering. Year. And, uh, and, and did you visit the dogs in any of the days that they were here, or is this your first visit? This is my really the first time. Yeah. And it's, to be honest, it's wonderful having these dogs around, Harris and Pandaro, they're mm. really nice, you know. Yeah, it's a nice little break from the stress mm -hmm. of exams, eh guys? If you head to the Ottawa Therapy Dog website, you can look at all of the information, whether you are interested in uh, joining the team or if you are a, a particular location who would maybe like to have the dogs visit them. But the thing is, there's a huge waiting list of people who want to become a, a part of the Therapy Dog program or have people visit, and it costs a lot of money. So if you are able actually to make a donation. Donations are good. It's not that we cost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. What it is is that we're a nonprofit. We have our wonderful Julie, who we could not survive without. Do, do show Julie just to embarrass her. <laughs> Julie is the person who keeps us organized and coordinated and is our only paid staff. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not that we cost a lot, it's that we have, we want to maintain high quality, high standards. Okay. So the money that we raise basically goes to support Julie and about 95% of everything that's done is volunteer. Okay. So I know it, we want money, I'm not trying to say don't give us money. <laughs> we give tax receipts. Okay. We love money. Um, we do fundraisers. Okay. Uh, go to the website for all of the information. I'm sorry, Carol. We got to go.